Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing things a little differently. We're going to look at a piece of media called Resident Evil 2, or as it's most commonly known, Resident Evil Apocalypse, starring Spotlight Award winner Mila Jovovich and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, who you may know from classics such as Mortal Kombat Annihilation and There Will Be Blood. Let's pop this movie in and see what all the fuss is about. Well. Now that I have absolutely no faith in the art of cinema, let's just play some games, shall we? For some reason, this game just showed up in my Steam library, and since I can't say no to free games, let's have a look. So this is a demo for the upcoming Resident Evil 2. What the title fails to mention is that this is a fully blown remake, or better yet reimagining, of the 1998 classic. But rather than just touch up the graphics and do nothing about the ancient fixed camera angle system like the first game, Capcom is going all out on this remake with full camera control and an over-the-shoulder perspective, just like another great game that Resident Evil fans will never be able to shut up about. Side note, I actually love the attention that's given to the PC port. It gives you many different customization options and shows you what you're getting. Like, why would I need textures at 6GB when 4GB looks just fine? And chromatic aberration? HA! Turn that shit off. Make no mistake, this game is running at 60fps, it's just that AMD sucks at creating good capture software. Never again. So you play as this 90s heartthrob named Leon, who started his first day as a police officer in Raccoon City. Long story short, zombies happen, just like any first day on the job. He finds a laptop with live security footage of a guy who claims to know a way out. Before we head over to the east hallway though, let's have a look around the building. It's not like we're on a time limit or anything. There's really not much in here, just some weird keyholes, bullets, and locked doors. Because Leon can't, you know, kick them down. It's his first day, cut him some slack. The only way to get to the east hall is to climb under a broken gate and into a dark hallway. I'm very glad Capcom took this route of redesigning the levels and mechanics of the game from the ground up. This is way more creepy than what fixed camera angles offer. Nothing too scary happens in this hallway except for a few noises and a plumber's worst nightmare. This. This is the real survival horror. Sure enough, Leon eventually locates the guy from the security footage only to find that he is half the man he used to be. Hey, you think this scene is bad, you should see what they did to it in Japan. We get a notebook from the dead man with some weird scribbles in it hinting at how to get out. What kind of a police station has such a sophisticated exit plan in the- Ah, zombies! Rule number one, shoot these undead bastards in the head. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Now let's get back to the main hall. Oh look, more zombies. And a fat zombie, Shit. Please don't let a zombie grab my leg. Please don't let a zombie grab my leg. Please don't let a zombie- I said please! Now that we have been saved by this dude, we reward him by taking his knife and cutting our way through the facilities. This means, you guessed it, more dark hallways. Jesus Christ, are we playing Final Fantasy XIII? What's going on? Not to say this is a problem or anything, because it fits the setting and tone of the game appropriately. I think he tried eating one of these. You know, sometimes these jokes just write themselves. Okay, this actually had nothing to do with the zombies. See, there were a group of cops who wanted to shove this poor intern into his locker as a prank, and he died of malnutrition and dysentery. It's very tragic. At this point, we're just fighting our way through zombies in order to make our way upstairs. <gasps> Is that a naked lady? Oh god damn it! On the desk, we find a fancy looking key, but before we go downstairs, let's see what's in here. What in the- Don't fret, maybe Spider-Man is coming to save the day. Oh wait, there's nothing much in this room. Just some gunpowder, wood boards, and a hip pouch that expands my inventory. This'll definitely come in handy within the next hour or so. After fighting through some more zombies, we use this fancy looking key to get back into the main hall. Hmm, that was pretty short. Well, I guess it was a demo after all. I'm sure he missed a couple of things though, so uh, let's try this again. Wait, why is it not letting me replay it? Oh, so 
That's why they call it a one-shot demo. Mm, evil business move, Capcom. But I still can't blame you for it. So, I really want to replay it again, though. What am I going to do? Alright, time for round two. Now, actually, this game is running at 30 FPS, or rather has trouble maintaining 60 FPS. My poor PC Master Race eyes can't handle the choppiness. So the same old stuff happens again in this demo, but this time I found places that I missed, such as this weapons locker. Of course, all the cool shit is inside the lockers that are labeled with twos and threes. Oh well, at least I have this undeveloped film. Yay. Fortunately, there is another room I missed down on, and I can develop the film in there. Yay. But the big room that I missed was this library at the end, and it is full of zombies and safety hazards. Someone really needs to put a sign there. My god. In the corner, there's a door leading to another room with a fancy statue of a unicorn. Wait, I know this puzzle. Okay, let's, let's just go in here, and maybe uh, there's a horn, and uh, just... Uh, that. <gasps> I did it! Now, if only this medallion were useful outside of the demo. We don't have much longer, so I guess I should make my way back to the main hall. I might have missed something in this guy's office, though. Now, he doesn't look like a zombie, just dead. Though, just to be safe... <laughs> oh god, he's a zombie! Alright, let's just use the key and let it end. Alright, I think I've had my fill of this demo, and you know what? It was pretty good. I think I might pick up this game, but... Oof, I really want to play it one more time. Just, how am I gonna do that? 